Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all well on this fine Sunday. I thought today I would share with you everything I've bought recently over the last couple of months. There's definitely a catchier title than that. <laughs> Hopefully I've thought of that and that is actually what the video is called. Um, but I have just been indulging in a bit of retail therapy over the last couple of months. Like it's one of those things that really just helps the 3 a.m. night feet, <laughs> you know? I'm scrolling on my phone parcels arrive mark can't even be mad because he's doing the same thing he's like oh i've bought a carhartt coat at 4 a.m um it just it just really helps to <laughs> make those night feeds a little sweeter and actually these are things that i've bought over months i'd say some of these things i bought sort of like june july time back when i was pregnant and i was just so so excited for sort of non-pregnancy <laughs> clothes again. I'm really into style at the moment. I'm really into watching videos about it. I'm like finding new people on Instagram. I just feel really inspired in that area of my life. And it is really exciting to slowly get back into that groove of non-stretchy <laughs> clothing 24 seven. Honestly, maternity style is hard guys. It is tricky um that last video that i filmed was i like 37 weeks pregnant and then from that point onwards like i was just wearing the same three things like on rotation um and obviously you, you give birth you then just live in pajamas track suits I only now feel a bit more myself again and yeah i'm just very excited to wear all of these new things that i've been buying over the last couple of months um i bought everything up here and I am semi-disgusted with myself at how many items of knitwear there are. Um, but for me, never regret a knitwear purchase. Like I will wear these things every darn day. Like for me, a piece of knitwear, a pair of jeans, that's like my go-to. So I know that it is a good purchase. Some of them are secondhand as well. I'll point those out as we go through. In fact, let's start, let's start with this. What I'm gonna do is sort of hold things up, but then insert like a clip of me like wearing it in an outfit context. So hopefully you get some styling ideas, um, I get some styling ideas, and you can just see how the items look on. Um, but this is an Arquette men's like heavyweight wool jumper, and I have it in this beigey, greigey color. It's a bit of a tricky color to describe. Um, I saw this on Lizzie Hadfield, shot from the street, and I have no regrets over buying this. It is just perfectly, oversized, a little bit baggy, a little bit boxy. Um, and actually it's not scratchy. Sometimes I find that wool on me can be a little bit scratchy. Hence why I'm always like, oh, I love a bit of cashmere. <laughs> but I wouldn't say that this is scratchy at all. And it's not so heavy that it's stiff. I don't know, it's just, it's the perfect weight. So I have it in this color and I also have it in the navy. Um, I didn't actually have any navy pieces of knitwear, which is kind of nuts, because I think it's a really nice shade to wear with denim, which is like my go-to on the bottom half. So I've been getting a lot of wear out of these. I've been sharing them all the time on my Instagram stories, because I feel like this is, this is kind of what I reach for like every day. It's just the perfect weight for now. Um, I tend to wear it with either a t-shirt underneath or just a vest top underneath pop this on the top and I'm not too hot, I'm not too cold. Um, but yeah, love, love the styling options of these. These will be linked down below along with everything here. If anything is no longer available, I'll try and find you a dupe, um, but very, very chuffed with these. Thank you very much, Lizzie, for bringing these to my attention. Oh, let's go for this. This is another Arquette purchase. And maybe another one influenced by Lizzie, actually. I think she did a sponsored video with Arquette and I was just like, into the basket, into the basket. Also, their baby clothes are a delight. So I'm like, one for me, one for Ralph, <laughs> like, in it goes. Oh, he has the cutest pair of rib leggings from there. I can't get over it. Um, but this is an oversized cashmere jumper. I have this in a medium and it's just an oversized gray cashmere jumper. And it's just plain. There's no like rib knit. It's not super heavyweight. It's actually quite thin. Um, it's washed up really well, which is good. Like always love a high street cashmere find that washes really well. I would put this definitely in that category. And I have a gray, more like tight fitted knit, but I didn't have a baggy one. That was my justification anyway. And actually 
a little bit of baggy, like, I just love an oversized piece. If on RK it says like oversized, I'm like, yep, yeah, sold, thank you very much. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've just worn this an absolute ton as well. Again, I wear it with a vest top underneath, a t-shirt underneath, just in case it gets a little bit too warm. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice, soft, simple, basic piece that I know is gonna be in my wardrobe for years and years to come. Okay, now we enter the slightly more pricier knit section. Um, you guys know I just love toe tem. <laughs> I have a real problem with toe tem. I'm constantly searching on Vestia Collective. I just put in toe tem and I just constantly see what is new, what is there. Um, Vestia Collective is like a pre-loved secondhand um, sort of luxury designer website and I mean I... It, I buy a lot of totem stuff out there. Um, two things actually from this haul I got from Vestia Collective and our totem. Maybe I'll share those with you now. One is a knit. Oh, it's glorious. This is cashmere again, and it is a glorious cable knit. Um, I didn't really have a cable knit in my collection, um, but all the ones that I tend to gravitate towards are really, really thick, more like a fisherman knit. Um, and I just feel that I would overheat in two seconds in one of those. Um, so I love that this is still that boxy, oversized fit. I have a feeling this is in a medium. It is indeed. It's got a really nice wide sort of bell sleeve. And again, it's quite thin. So really, really nice for layering and the color of it. It's just this lovely oatmeal color. I have a feeling they actually still sell this. Um, so if they do, I'll link it down below for you. I'll try and find you some more high street dupes, um, but yes. I picked this up when I was pregnant and I didn't want to stretch it out with my belly. Um, so I've been very happy to finally get to wear that. And this was an absolute bargain from Vestia Collective. This is a totem wool navy coat. Um, it's a bit of a like dressing gown, roby type coat, um, you'll see in the cutaways, but it's such a nice fit in that it feels quite casual, but quite formal at the same time. And I didn't have a navy jacket, again, this is my justification, um, that was this length. I have my whistles like pea coat, but this was a little bit longer. I felt like it had a bit more versatility in the styling. This was an absolute bargain. Um, a lot of the time the stuff in Bessier Collective is in like perfect condition, um, barely worn, sometimes still with the tags on. This was in not so fab condition. Um, actually the pockets inside have like worn away a bit. So there's a bit of repairing to do. They were really open about that. And there was pictures of it online. I knew what I was getting myself into. And I was like, I can fix that. That's completely fine. But it meant that I got this for an absolute bargain. I think it was about a quarter of the original price or like maybe even cheaper than that. I love that the belt that comes with it and there's no actual belt loops. It kind of loops inside so you can remove it and just have no belt or you can loop it through and have a belt there um but yes thoroughly have been enjoying wearing this let's go back to the knits um i didn't actually buy this one this was a gift from the outnet and they were like what do you what do you fancy what do you fancy i was like i fancy totem <laughs> what a surprise the color of this knit though it's almost an egg yolky yellow I don't know, it's, it's just a mustardy, bright, but still kind of muted yellow shade. Um, I'm not a fan of too much color. We know this, we know this, but this to me is a neutral color, like a muted color. Um, just a nice yellowy take on beige. Um, I actually have the exact same jumper in the black, but the black one that I have is asymmetrical on the bottom. This one is just cut straight across. I think this is in a medium large. It's extremely oversized and I think it looks bloody great with blue denim. That's probably how I'm wearing it in the cutaways. Um, but yes, something that they sent me when I was pregnant and I've just been so excited to finally get around to wearing it. There are still things. Oh my word. I mean, this is quite a big haul for me. Um, I feel like I don't really do hauls all that much these days and this is quite a lot but like i said we're in november now and this is stuff i've been picking up since about june time so sometimes you just need a bit of retail therapy <laughs> i really fancy something that wasn't a knit <laughs> surprise surprise yeah there's more knitwear there is more knitwear to come um but this was from totem and i love 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 this style i saw harriet westmoreland wearing this i think um, and she just has such a cool style. She's an incredible 
um, nail lady, like, oh my word, her manicures are just, they're such a signature. You can really tell when a manicure has been done by her. Um, but she was wearing this. She has a really cool sort of basic everyday uniform that she wears. She wears a lot of toe tem as well. And she was wearing this. And I was like, yes, I love that. Um, I love the zip. I love that it's casual. I can just wear this every day. But it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good when I wear it. Um, it's just a jogger material. There's definitely, definitely some good high street dupes for this. So I will find some for you and link them down below. Um, but it's just a very, it's more like a casual piece compared to the other things. And now I'm looking at it, I can see that it's got chocolate down it. I hope that's chocolate. <laughs> and it probably needs to go in the wash. Uh, but the good thing with these zippy tops is obviously you can wear them unzipped or you can wear them zipped up all the way to the top. Actually, I was wearing this around my friend's um, seven month old baby the other day and she loved the zip. So there you go, it's like a baby toy. <laughs> and a jumper in one <laughs> there you go oh my word guys this knit yes yes there is another knit <laughs> another knit. i have a problem i have a problem i can't stop buying knitwear but this was pre-loved secondhand um from curate and rotate i will link the instagram down below for you um a local lady called melanie who just oh my word the stuff that she sells is incredible if you have anything to sell she will also like sell it for you do the whole consignment thing um but she sells pre-loved secondhand glorious glorious like mostly sort of luxury vintage fashion um she definitely has designers that she like likes to resell on so she has a real style she has a real eye for good taste you know really good taste um, and she was doing a pop-up actually in Brighton. I think she's doing a pop-up in London soon. Check out her Instagram, it'll be on there. Um, and I was desperate to go along, but Ralph at the time was really super young, still a tiny little baby. Um, but she posted that she was gonna be selling this jumper at the pop-up and then no one bought it, no one bought it. So she messaged me and was like, hey, that jumper, like, do you still want it? Um, it's from a brand called Kate, uh, which if you ever saw the Katie Holmes picture of her, like flagging down a taxi, wearing a cashmere bra and cardigan set. That is from the brand Kate. They're very iconic for that moment. Um, and this knit would have been so, 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 so expensive um, to buy like straight from the brand. And it's just the nicest rib knit, oversized, really, really big wide sleeves with this really simple neckline. Like I am, I'm just so, so, so in love with this jumper. And I think there's a real opportunity with this jumper to like take it to the next level and make it look quite fancy and formal um, because of the cut of it. So there you go. Are you bored of me talking about knitwear now? You probably are. And that's good because now I have accessories. Oh yes, this haul is not over yet. I have a bag, I have two pairs of shoes. So the bag, it's a bit of a push present to myself. Um, you know, I gave birth. I was like, feel like I want a bit of a treat for me. What do I fancy here? Um, and I was eyeing up this bag. It's a Celine bag. Um, it's sort of in the hobo style. Um, I have the like navy and black Celine hobo bag that I found on Vestier Collective that I just absolutely adore. Um, but obviously leaving the house now with a baby, I have quite a few things to take with me. Um, and this is now, like the biggest sort of leather bag that I own. So I thought it might be a handy baby bag. <laughs> People who have children are like laughing at me. You're laughing at me now. But I thought even if it's not like a bit of a baby bag, Mark has a Patagonia like rucksack thing that we sort of use for that. Um, this will just be a really good bag for whenever I need to take my laptop out with me somewhere because it is pretty darn big. Um, yeah, you can really fit a lot of stuff in here and it's just got a very simple pocket on the one side, really tiny Celine branding and then a zip pocket on the other side and also a zip across the top, which I love. Like, hello, good security, we are into that. And then inside it is just a large cavernous bag um, with like a pocket on each side. The strap is adjustable on the top as well. Um, yeah, I just really, really love uh, old Celine sort of hobo bags. That's sort of the style. If you go onto Bessier Collective and put in that, you'll find 
some very glorious bags, trust me. Um, so I'm very excited to take this out with me. And um, yeah, maybe I'm being naive, but you can extend the strap and wear it crossbody as well. So you don't have to wear it over the shoulder, but I mean, you can't go wrong with like a big leather black bag. Like it's definitely gonna be used, you know? Then bless Mark, he got me a push present and he got me these. These are New Balance and they are the five, seven, fours. I'll link them down below for you. I really just wanted to find a neutral trainer, a neutral New Balance. And when you put in neutral New Balance, these are the ones that come up. They look quite tiny and my feet are actually quite big. They're quite a slim trainer, um, but I wear, I've got a pair of APL trainers that I bought years and years and years ago, back when I did like personal training and like weightlifting at the gym. Oh, it's been a while. And I actually wear them in my everyday life all the time. And I have these one pair of trainers. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna extend my trainer selection. I feel like I could be wearing trainers quite a lot more these days. Um, so I thought these were really cool. And I mean, they're neutral, aren't they? Neutral suede as well. Really great for like muddy walks to the park. <laughs> Hey, I have my other trainers if I know I'm gonna get muddy, um, but yeah, I just thought these were a really cool style and just really simple as well. Then finally, we're getting to the end. I have a numb bum. <laughs> these, the Birkenstock, oh gosh, what are they called? They're like the Boston, Boston clogs. I eyed these up last year. I really did. I was very, very tempted by them, but I just couldn't find the right color. Um, I will link this color down below for you. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. I wanna say latte. It's not written on them anywhere, but I will find my order. I'll link them down below for you. I wanted a house slipper that wasn't super fluffy because I feel like when things are really fluffy, they sort of lose their fluff quite quickly. And then by the next winter, you're a bit like, oh, gross. <laughs> I've still got my leopard print Uggs that I wear around the house when I need to be really warm. And obviously I wear my Birkenstock Eva sandals during the summer. And I thought this would be a nice winter option. They just make me feel a little bit more put together. These are like my, my daytime slipper. Is that a thing? A daytime slipper, an evening slipper. Um, but I think these are pretty cool. And now when Mark buys shoes, I just can't say anything, <laughs> even if they're not my cup of tea, because the chances are that next Christmas or next summer, I'll be buying them as well. Um, he has a pair like this, like a felt pair um, in gray. And I was probably like, ooh, <laughs> when he first bought them. And now look at me. <laughs> So there you have it. That is everything that I have bought and also very kindly been gifted that um, Outnet jumper since June time, shall we say? I mean, that is a lot. That really feels like quite a mega haul, but you know, you've got to do what you've got to do <laughs> to get by. And style is just singing to me at the moment. It really, really is. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned, everything will be linked down below for you. Um, and yeah, maybe you've got some styling ideas as well, some ideas of outfits that you can pull together for this autumn, winter, like, I feel like I've come out of hibernation and all of a sudden it's a completely different season. It's cold, but I like it. Autumn, winter, it's really my vibe, really my vibe. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you possibly midweek for another video. If not on Sunday, I will see you then. Have a great week and yeah, have a good one. Bye.